What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new iOS 15 Swift UI swipe actions. That is a mouthful, but here's the app we're going to put together. It's a pretty straightforward to do list. And here we've got two custom actions on the right hand side. We've also got an action on the left hand side that we can do a full swipe on. So we'll talk about how to actually bring these into your view, how to configure their colors or image, their position, all that good stuff you'd expect to be able to configure and a few other things as well. So if that sounds good, make sure you start by dropping a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. Hit subscribe if you're into iOS and want to stick around. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. Bear in mind, this is Xcode 13 beta. We're going to go ahead and pick the app template under iOS. And let's go ahead and call these uh, call this project SwiftUI Swipe Actions. Of course, you want to make sure your language is set to Swift and your interface here is set to SwiftUI. Let's continue. Save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop here. And first things first, we're going to close the attributes inspector, expand our Xcode window, and we'll change our preview device in the drop down here to a 12 Pro Max. And I'll go ahead and hit the resume button to load up our preview. Hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. And while this guy is going, let's talk about what we're going to build out. Actually, there it is. So we're going to build out a list and we're going to add some swipe gestures to those uh, list entries. So let's get into the list. So we're first going to start with a navigation view. Now this navigation view is going to have a list inside of it. We're going to go ahead and use the navigation title modifier. That's not the one we want. The navigation title modifier to go ahead and give this a title. And we're going to go ahead and give it a title of to do list. Now for today's video, we're not going to actually focus too much on the elements inside here. We just want something in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a array of items that we're going to put into our to do list. So let's just go ahead and uh, put some random items in here. So I'll say get milk. Maybe I'll say go running. What else can I think of? Let's see edits video and so on and so forth. Uh, do homework. And I'll just go ahead and paste all of these a few times so we have more than uh, just four entries there. So here we have it. We've got a couple entries in our to do list. And to actually get these to show up, we need to go ahead and do a for each over our items uh, where every ID is going to be self. Here we're going to go ahead and see item in. And we're going to go ahead and say that this is going to be the item. So now we should hopefully start to see a list of our to-do list items and we can get into the swipe actions. So we're going to go ahead and hit resume in our preview on the right hand side and hopefully it does what it's supposed to do. Let's try hitting try again. Sometimes there it is. Preview is hit or miss. So now we want to work on the swipe action. So those of you who don't know, swipe actions are brand new for iOS 15. So you want to go to your project settings and make sure the minimum deployment target, in fact, here is 15. And we can come back to the content view and start using the swipe action modifier. Now, before we start using the swipe action modifier, let's go ahead, instead of using just a text here, let's make this look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to create a horizontal stack. And I'm going to go ahead and toss in an image in here as well. We'll go with like checkmark dot circle dot fill. I'm going to also go with resizable and we're going to go with a tint color of maybe blue. This way, hopefully it'll look a little bit nicer. Let me go ahead and hit command B, make sure everything is still building. And let's go ahead and fix up the size of this, uh, the circle because it's obnoxious. We're going to say uh, aspect ratio is going to be. Uh, aspect ratio is going to be fit. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's try aspect ratio one more time. Looks like this has actually changed for uh, the Swift UI 3 in iOS 15 updates. So I'm going to go ahead and just say scale to fit. That way it's not obnoxious. And we'll also go ahead and give it a fixed frame. So we'll also go ahead and say maybe 30 wide and we'll also go ahead and say 30 tall. Let's go ahead and hit resume, make sure that looks a little more appropriate and then we'll talk about swipe actions. All right, so it's not blue, that's all right. We'll talk about swipe actions as soon as I adjust that. So now that we have this horizontal stack here, we want each of these elements to be swipeable. 
So presumably either we want to delete it or we want to do some custom action with it, right? So there is a brand new swipe actions modifier. And you can see there are two versions of it. The first one uses all the default values. So the edge parameter that you see here basically allows you to say, is it a trailing action or leading? So left or right. You also have a allows full swipe, which is basically what it sounds like. And then you have the content. So let's start with one and then we'll get into the fancy ones. So what do we actually put in here? So what we want to put in here is actually just a button. And I'm not going to focus uh, too, too much on what actually we're going to do in the action here since uh, we don't really care about that. All we really care about today is creating the swipe action. And in here, we're going to go ahead and bring in a image. So I'll go ahead and say system name. And let's go ahead and create a um, button with a bell icon signifying, let's say, maybe like a notification. So let's go ahead and hit Command B, make sure it's still building. I'm going to go ahead and hit resume in our preview here. Hopefully everything's working. Now we're going to hit the live preview button. And if you try to swipe, you'll start to see that we actually have this uh, as swipeable. And it's not the easiest to see right now because the bell is actually white. So let's go ahead and change that. So we have the swipe action, this button. I'm going to go ahead and change its tint color to maybe be... Uh, yellow here. So let's go ahead and stop the live preview. We'll hit command B to build, resume the preview again. Let's try that once more. So now when we swipe, it's pretty obvious we have a custom swipe action here and it is this bell and it allows us to fully swipe all the way through. That's what that full swipe argument actually means. Now the reason you won't always get this is because you can actually have multiple of these custom actions. So let's actually see that in action. So how do we add custom actions? So we can just take this swipe action and it has defaulted them to the right of the row. And we'll just go ahead and copy and paste it. And maybe this uh, next one here, we're gonna go ahead and use a trash icon with the color of red to signify the fact that users can delete the to-do list item. Presumably they've done it, so they wanna get rid of it now. So let's go ahead and just start swiping. And now we can see we have the red and yellow. So the order is determined by how we put them in the swipe actions here. Fairly straightforward. Now let's get a little more interesting with it. Now what if we also wanted to have gestures on the left hand side? How do we deal with that? What we can do is we can use another one of these uh, swipe action modifiers and we can provide the edge in here to be either trailing or leading. So let's go ahead and make a leading and we're just going to have one in here. I'm going to change the uh, tint color here to be purple and maybe we want to be able to configure settings about each of our uh, to-do list entries. So I'm going to go ahead and create a gear icon. So let's go ahead and hit command B to build. We'll hit resume here and we'll hit the live preview button and let's see what we end up with. So we're going to go ahead and swipe this way. We have a gear icon with the purple background. And if we go ahead and swipe this way, we once again have our two other icons. So that's basically custom actions, swipe actions in a nutshell. They're fairly simple to set up. The one thing that I'll recommend here is uh, I prefer using the actual edge parameter instead of just letting it default to the trailing, which is the right hand side. Reason being is it's nice to see the explicit placement of it instead of assuming what uh, SwiftUI's defaults are. The other reason the SwiftUI defaults are tricky is because if Apple changes it next year, it's just going to randomly change on you, which I guess if you want that to happen, awesome, but most people probably don't want that to happen. Um, let's go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer because I think we can do a better job. And actually, if I put this into dark mode, you'll notice everything just looks a whole lot nicer. So let me go and throw this into dark mode and let's take a look at our final product here. So we'll go ahead and give it a run. One thing that's weird you want to be careful about actually, if you see the edge of this list, it's to the, it, there's a little bit of padding, it's to the left of the edge of the screen. So you might want to be a little careful about how it looks and feels. So I don't think it particularly looks bad, but just keep that top of mind as you go through and use these swipe actions to build out your UIs. So that is all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, smash that subscribe button, write a comment, ask any questions. If you've got video suggestions, always love hearing from you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.